What's up guys, and in light of yesterday's video that I shot, I figure I'll give you guys a little bit of a rundown of the gear that I got at my apartment right now. <clears throat> so, uh, if you follow me on Metal Amino, you saw the picture that I posted of this. This is my Jackson JS32. Those are passive pickups, those ain't active. Those are passives. Um, as you see, I don't got the back cover on. It's over there on my 6505, but yeah, it's not on there right now because I've been adjusting the claw. But, um, and I can't use my my Floyd Rose arm because it doesn't, something's wrong with the claw. Uh, this is the base that I use to do all my shit. This is an Ibanez, I think, GSR... Yeah, GSR 100EX. I don't know if you see that or not. Yeah. It was like 150 or 160 bucks, I think, when I got it. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Uh, this is the Explorer that was predominantly used in the video. The uh, Explorer, I just had to restring it, actually. I just restrung it, like, a couple hours ago. Um, I broke a string while recording yesterday. Um, if you watch the music video, you can actually see it, but you have to catch it really quick. It doesn't last very long. Uh, and this is the Project Warlock. As you see, all the hardware has been uh, gutted out. There's no hard... I, I still have the nut on there, but all the, the tuning heads are all gone. I haven't taken out the stop bar tail pieces yet because i got to pull those out. I pulled out all the other hardware, everything. Um, apparently, a lot of people said I should finish this project, so I may to actually finish it relatively soon. Don't know. Um, and then in my apartment, I've got... Two heads and my 412, which my neighbors don't necessarily like that. This is uh, just a regular PV Valve King 412 cabinet. So it's got the whatever Valve King 412 cabinets came with for those speakers. They're just the regular speakers. There aren't uh, vintage 30s in here. Um, this is my PV Ultra. This was a 212 combo, okay? And what I did was I chopped it out. I haven't rehoused it in a new uh, a housing yet, but... I chopped it up, used the output, and sent it out to the cap. So this used to be a T12 combo. This thing weighed like 80 pounds. I kid you not. It weighed like 80 pounds. And uh, so I shrunk it down. Uh, same thing with my 6505. I, I, was, I rehoused it in a different kind of wood, but I cut it the wrong way. So it had this space right here, but I'm going to, and I didn't hook up my the LED on the front because this is supposed to light up blue, but there's something wrong with the electronics. I picked this up used off of Craig or eBay for like 200 bucks. And uh, Kitty said the speaker cabinet didn't work. Uh, the output jack was broke, but I fixed it. And so I sent that out to my cabinet. So I'm going to rehouse this and make it look all nice and flush and pretty. Maybe do white Tolex around it. Same with the 60 or the, the PV Ultra, which those of you that don't know, the Ultra uh, is the same schematic of what became the JSX and or the triple x i believe so in light of that i'm going to show you guys what it sounds like um just run of the mill settings here these are just kind of like the apartment settings uh the way that this is set up it's a three channel amp you've got your clean channel on channel one right here i don't know if you can see okay so clean channel is channel one channel two is your crunch channel and then channel three is the ultra channel which can only be accessed through the foot switch although it has an ultra gain button but that doesn't actually engage it's kind of like a four channel because with this button depressed, if you depress the ultra gain button, which I'll zoom into there, if you, yeah, if you depress it, it's just like a third level gain. But if it's pressed in, it's the ultra gain mode. Uh, and this has an active EQ. So the, uh, the crunch channel and the other distortion channels all run through the same EQ. Uh, so your bottom, like for me, the settings I'm running in my apartment, on bottom I have it saying, uh, what is that, six and a half? And then mids, I've got it on, what, 2.9 maybe, 2.8. And then highs, I've got it super crispy clean. And my reverb tank is actually gone, so I don't have that. Master volume is at, I don't know if you can see that or not, it's at 0. Point something. Whatever, it's really low. Um, this does have, um, it's got an independent volume control, so you can max out the preamp. You know, so you can max that 10, and then you can set your master really low. Uh, that's for all the channels. It has it on the clean channel as well. There's a bright switch, obviously, channel switch. Uh, the foot switch for it is this. This is, okay, so this is your crunch channel when it's on yellow, like that. That's crunch. And uh, that goes to bypass to, to your clean channel if that's engaged. 
uh, and then you know uh, reverb but my reverb tank isn't hooked up um, and then when you click this in like this you're on ultra but you're still on clean so you can you can still be playing clean and switch your channel between a crunch and your insane distortion okay and then when you disengage that then you're on your insane channel so in light of that i'm gonna see if i can't figure out a way to show this to you guys um, let me just pull something over here real quick i don't know how how sturdy this is going to be for holding my camera don't know if it's going to give me a good view or not okay so you won't really be able to see me playing but you'll be able to at least hear it so uh i already got my v hooked up and stuff so that's how we're going to do it um we're going to start with the clean channel here okay uh Oh, it's already on. Oh, and it's also got resonance. You can do like a loose kind of sounding speaker or tight or mid. So this is the clean channel, kind of on a little bit of a gain on it. I'm in drop, so... Yeah, that was the, the neck pickup. This is the bridge. And then this is the, or that was the bridge and the neck. This is just the bridge. So as you see, definitely got some uh, creamy tone there. So we're going to start with the neck pickup again. This will be, we'll do the crunch channel here. I, I EQ these kind of similar, so. So that was the neck. This is the neck and the bridge. This is just the bridge. All right, now the ultimate game channel here. Super distortion. Just the bridge. So as you see, it's a relatively good sounding piece of equipment there. And for those of you that don't know, they don't actually make the Ultra anymore. Um, this model was manufactured in 1997, um, but I've seen models as old as 1994. Uh, I found this on Craigslist. Dude uh, said it was too much gain for him, and I had a Valve King head. He wanted something. He wanted a 100 watt head. This was not obviously a 100 watt head. So it was a 212 combo. This was the 60 watt 212 combo, I believe. And, um, yeah, so I, I, we did an even trade. Um, I, not that I didn't like my Valve King head. I just didn't want it anymore. And I wanted this. The Ultra, like I said, it's the little, it's the older brother of, I believe, the Triple X. So it's got multiple levels of gain. It's got a really nice clean channel if you EQ it the right way. I didn't really do much EQing here on the clean channel, as you can see. Uh, just noon for the lows, or the low end, uh, the mids. Uh, we're at three in the highs. Of course, they were dimed out. Um, but my obvious settings um, when I'm doing like recording and stuff, my highs are like this is my 6505. But um, so my highs are like at six or sometimes five or six. Uh, so noon or one o'clock. My mids are at three or four. Um, so like 11 o'clock. And then my lows are usually at one o'clock and then the pre is up at like five and a half six that's usually how i do it when i'm recording 
like something. But it's been a while since I recorded with you know the real amps and stuff. So um, lately, it's been a lot of VST usage, and um, it kind of sucks because I miss using nice big beefy stuff. But in my apartment, it's really hard to do that. So, but all right, guys. So I will catch you uh, later.